What's up, everyone? Dinebot here, and welcome back to Flight Sim and the Favorite Places to Fly 2023 World Tour. Doing something a little different today. I don't necessarily love doing these. You'll see I have a custom departure instead of an airport, but double-edged sword with this one, we're in China, so not a lot of airports in the game in China in a lot of places because it's such a vast country. Two, we're in the middle of nowhere in Tibet specifically, so literally no airports here. We are going to be checking out the Sky River of the Himalayas, otherwise known as the Brahmaputra. So, it starts in Barang County, which is right up here. I'm going to drop us in right about here. You can see it looks like it might be some interesting sights there. I'm in a TBM. You can take whatever you want. We're going to start airborne at 5,000 feet. We are not going to be going real time, and I am not going to let it do live weather. That's uh, not a great idea. We're going to go with custom few clouds and see how that does us. And let us get flying we'll probably have to adjust the time of day now this is the ninth largest river in the world in terms of discharge of cement water and the 15th longest the interesting thing about it is it goes east along the himalayas and then suddenly cuts south and comes back to the southwest and then south in india it's a very very interesting river it's about 2400 miles long it is in fact night here and we are going to need to change the time of day. And we need to take snow off because there wouldn't be any snow here. All right, good. We are up. We are flying. Let us have a look around. And we are going to try to chart a course actually back to the east. So I'm just going to spin the plane on around here. We are up in the mountains. We are in the Himalayas. Uh, you're going to need something that can function at highest, higher altitudes here. As we level off here, heading due east, you will see the vast body of water down there below us. Now, this river starts from glaciers further back to the west, as I noted. And if we look at the VFR, this thing's kind of hard to track up here. The uh, river does ebb and flow with the seasons, and the game's satellite images don't appear to have been taken when it was actually at full flow. So you'll just have to wing it and fly and just enjoy. Now this river does flow all the way out to the Ganges Delta and empties into the Bay of Bengal. And up here, you would expect to find lots of nomads, yak herders, that kind of thing. But just absolutely stunning to look at. Let's mess with the weather a little bit uh, because we are just in the middle of the wilderness, so there's not a lot of civilization things to talk about, basically. High-level clouds look pretty good. I always like epic. There we go. Oh, yes. That looks nice, although maybe pull... That one up a little bit. There we go. Let's see what that looks like from in the cockpit. So, yeah, just mountains as far as you can see we are in the himalayas one of the youngest mountain chains in the world if you were to explore you would certainly find some fairly high peaks out here it is not that far south to um everest in fact luckla i'm not sure if luckla is actually on the map it should be not too far to our south though in terms of flight time Yeah, really interesting up here. If you are in the mood to just turn off the uh, fuel consumption and just fly, you could conceivably trace the river in most of its course. Might take you quite a while, though. And this is a really good place to actually play with some of the uh, some of the weather presets, too. Or play around with making your own. But yeah, very, very interesting. I normally don't like starting these out with no airport, but I figured this one was worth it, and I think it was absolutely worth it. So, guys, 
That'll do it for me today. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. It helps tune out a lot. If you have a place you'd like me to check out, leave it in the comments below. And if you're here to the end, thank you for watching because watch time is key on YouTube. My name is Dinebot, and I will see you guys next time.